What's going on, people? I want to speak on this video that, or the song that Beyonce just recently released titled Church Girl. Now, what's surprising to me is that you have so many people making a big deal out of this, especially church folk, to the point where this Church of God in Christ bishop, Bishop Wooden, had made a video, and I'm going to let you watch the video that he made regarding Beyonce. It's probably about three or four minutes. I'll let you guys check that out. But I'm surprised that so many people are making a big deal and saying that this is satanic. The song is satanic. Um, they're saying that Beyonce this. Listen, I made a video a long time ago talking about Beyonce. Right when she was talking about Sasha Fierce and how she had an alter ego, Sasha Fierce. That should have told you right there that Beyonce had already sold her soul to the devil. This is this is old news. This is old information. But I'm going to let you listen to that video. And then I'm going to comment on it. I want you guys to check out what this bishop had to say. And what he said is not wrong. But at the same time, it's not right. Especially if you look inside the church, you see a lot of gays in the church that's working in church. All he got to do is just turn around and look at the choir. Look at the women that's in the congregation. But before I guess, I'm going to let you watch this video and then I'll give you my thoughts and ideas. Check out what this bishop has to say. Beyonce just released sacrilege. The only thing I can account for some of this stuff is somebody done sold their soul to the devil. Now, all I can say to you is this. When you sell your soul to the devil, you get the short end of the stick. But this piece of trash yes, sir. that's released. Yes, sir. And she named it Church Girl. Now, I had thought to try to read the lyrics to you. But I struggled to listen to them. It's too bad. It's too bad. It's not for public consumption it would it would be a desecration if i read this and uh i don't recommend it you know parents i know all, all your little children got they're all of them three months old they got a cell phone but i don't recommend <laughs> that you let them listen to this it is it's 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 the worst you can, am I right? It's the word. You can't get and to 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 sample the song of a real church lady. Yes, sir. Tweak a clock. To I don't know whether she knew what she was going to do with the song or not. Uh she knows she's not saved. I don't talk about anything that's not public. Anything that's public is fair game. And I pray to God that a stiff denunciation of what she did with that song is put out. <clears throat> it shows that we we're not speaking up. Ain't nobody don't nobody respect the church. The world don't respect the church. So you can't win the world enamored by them.
I'm just so proud that somebody was going to use my music. What do you mean? You're one of the best in the world. You're preaching, sir. You're preaching, sir. You're preaching, sir. We sang for Jesus. I, I tell you what did uh, help me. Uh, Marshetta just released, what is she here? Released hers. And that's the one you need to buy. That's the one. Got a good beat to it, if you feel like shouting. Yes, sir. A sanctified, unmistakably sanctified message. Amen. Amen. And you know, can't nobody sing any better. But for... To show this kind of disrespect for the church. And what's sad is this. There will be church people who will defend it. But let me tell you something. I'm not, I'm not bothered by those who defend that kind of garbage. I'm bothered by those who say nothing. You're the one who angers me. Am I right? Okay, now, you heard what the bishop had to say. And I don't disagree with him. But it's just funny to me that the only time the church speaks out now, we had COVID. And the churches allow the state and the government to control them. They shut down the churches for COVID. I didn't hear no preacher speak out against what the government was doing or how the government was controlling the churches. I always thought there was a separation of church and state. Another thing is, too, that so many churches or so many preachers sold out to the LGBTQ community. To the point where they are marrying gay couples in the church just to be able to get money from the government and from the states. They even change their message. They don't preach holiness. They don't preach sanctification. They don't preach come out from among the world and be separate you have the church being too much like the world. And I almost guarantee you that church choirs and musicians are going to use that beat because I watched that video. Well, there's a video out. I'm not sure if it's Beyonce's video, but there's a remix uh, video of that song, Church Girl, and the beat is tight. The beat is what's going to draw people. And you're going to find, which they're already doing, you find this females twerking in the church. So people don't respect the church because the church don't respect the church. The people that go to church don't respect the church. So people are saying that this is satanic. Beyonce has always been satanic. Her and Jay-Z. They've been sold themselves out. Beyonce has a church and she's worshiped or viewed as a God. But yet, now that this song came out and it's popular, now you have people like this bishop that's got something to say. Now, when I watched that video, the thought or the impression I got from the video was that she was exposing females in the church. She was showing the hypocrisy of the church and of the females in the church because they are living a double life. Many or most are living a double life. In church, they're one way. They're shouting. They're speaking in tongues. They're saying how much they love the Lord. But then the next night, they're in the club. Or the night before they go to church, they're in the club, backing that thing up, twerking. She mentioned about the tattoos. She mentioned about 
the gray sweatpants because you got a lot of females now that's lusting after dudes that wear gray sweatpants because they're printing. And then you have women that's wearing gray sweatpants showing their camel toe, right? This is what many females in the church are doing. So they're living a double life. They are being themselves. They are in, in Satanism. This is a saying, do as thou wilt. Many females in the church, especially in the black church, are doing what thou wilt. You're doing what you will and not what God wills. I will not date a female with tattoos. Too, too manly to me. I mean, back in the day, the only people that got tattoos are dudes, sailors. So you got females, their whole body is tatted up. And they get on social media and show off their half-naked body. And on Sunday morning, they're in church shouting. And the preachers allow that type of nonsense to take place. So although that bishop spoke the truth, well, you can't speak on Beyonce if the same nonsense is in your own church. You're allowing gay choir directors. You're allowing gay ministers to sit in the pulpit. You allow female preachers to sit right in the pulpit. But then you want to point fingers at Beyonce. No, I'm not defending Beyonce because I already know what she's about. Beyonce is doing what she's supposed to do. She's a minister, an agent of Satan. So she's supposed to attack the church. She's an adversary. She's an antichrist. So she's expected to do those things. And if I find that video I made in the past, I'm going to post it on the bottom about Sasha Fierce, right? So the only thing I got from that outside the fact that that beat is tight, the beat is nice, and that's what's going to draw a lot of people, church folk. You allow your little children, your little girls to grow up listening to that, and you're going to have little girls trying to impersonate what they see in the videos. You're going to have little girls repeating what they hear Beyonce say because they're going to play it on the radio. And then you're going to have the adults play it in the house and you're going to have dudes blasting it in their cars. So the little ones that's coming up, they're going to hear that garbage and they're going to repeat it. And you wonder why children are so out of control now. So Beyonce is doing what she do. I don't fault her because a devil is going to do devilish things. I'll repeat that. A devil is going to do devilish things. She's expected to do these things. There was a time that Beyonce wouldn't curse. You didn't hear that stuff in her music. But now she's just, she's straight out with it. But if you listen to what she talked about and listen to it and watch the images and this is a video, again, I don't know if it's an official Beyonce video because it said it was a remix or edited. But if you look at the image that was in that video, it's telling the truth. This is what you see now. Females are more masculine. They're more sexual. Although at one point in time, they talked about how men, they were always accusing men of sexual assault. So now you have many dudes that backed up and they don't approach certain women anymore, especially black females. But now you have these same females that used to complain about how men looking at them like a piece of meat are now displaying their half naked bodies on the internet, tatted up from top to bottom and doing exactly what Beyonce is singing about, especially in the church. So she's exposing the hypocrisy 
of church females. There used to be a time that you had dudes say they wanted a church girl because they were clean and wholesome and they were into the Lord and uh, they were good. And you still have some good women out there, especially in the black community. They're hard to find, but there's still some good women out there. But then as time went on, they started saying how church women are freaks. On Sunday morning, they're church girls. At nighttime, they're freaks in the bed. And now they're just straight out saying their thoughts. Church females are now considered or viewed, according to Beyonce, as thoughts. So they thought it up on a Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday morning, they're in church shouting, speaking in tongues or a tongue, talking about how much they love the Lord. So Beyonce is only being who she is. That's all. She's exposing the church. And if you watch that video, for a brief moment towards the end, there's an image that looks like Whitney Houston. Now, Whitney Houston came out of the church. Look how she died. And from what I hear, Beyonce came out of the church. Look where she ended up. So that's my view and opinion on that. Feedback, tell me what you think. Subscribe to next time. I'm fearless.